Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today you will see how to annotate the videos for the real time object detection. Request you to subscribe my channel, do share, comment so that I can bring you more videos for you. For the annotation we will use the CVAT tool, CVAT that is computer vision annotation tool. So we will use the CVAT uh, application over the web. So here uh, you are seeing uh, uh, just, just log in to your credential uh, and, and it's free. You can uh, use your Google uh, or, or Gmail account or, or any Outlook account and then you can log in there and then you can uh, immediately start annotating your videos or images. So I will show how to annotate the videos. Here we will consider uh, the vehicle uh, data set and uh, as of now uh, we have two classes uh, that is we consider two classes uh, that is car and uh, two wheeler. So now uh, just I am leveling the car over here. So if you see I am leveling it uh, the car and uh, now next uh, we need to upload the videos so i have some videos and i have downloaded it uh, from the open source uh, some of the videos having only one class that is car and other videos if you see uh, two wheeler as well as car so let me add another attribute so that is basically a class uh, two wheeler so i am just defining uh, uh, this two wheeler with other color because uh, when you train a model and find out the object detection the bounding box will uh, show you in different color so that's it so now you have to upload uh, your uh, video so let me upload a uh, drag and drop the first video that is uh, having only one class that is car so if you see uh, so advanced configuration do it whatever it has so now let me continue uh, let wait for upload these things yeah it's uploaded and now if you see car and two wheeler there are two classes and now we have to annotate uh, the individual frames so here the advantage of uh, CV tool is that uh, the video is automatically extracted into different frames so if you see here uh, the frames are extracted from the videos and uh, I'm just scrolling it if you see starting from the zero we have uh, multiple number of uh, frames so now let's start with the annotation so here we you have to choose the class so now I am annotating uh, the car so I'm selecting the bounding box over there and uh, there is two options shape and uh, track. I'm using track because you know when you move the frame to the next one. So automatically the object will be moving from uh, the previous place right. So that's why I'm just tracking it using the tracking and uh, do, um, doing the bounding box and identifying uh, the car in this particular frame. So as you move your frame you can see uh, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, you know uh, adjusting uh, the bounding box over the frames uh, having curve so in this way you can just adjust your uh, bounding boxes to annotate the car so yeah the same way here I'm uh, getting another uh, car so that's why I use the same thing okay so now uh, you are uh, ready to download uh, these things so just uh, before download just save uh, after completing all uh, the frame annotation uh, just save this and then you can uh, export the task so here you can see there are different format like coco pascal and other cvat xml format every format is there so as of now i am downloading the yellow format so let me download the yellow format file and uh, whenever you are downloading just uh, just uh, uh, choose the option uh, the save image uh, so that you can uh, uh, download uh, the images and corresponding levels so if you see the downloaded uh, this is the frame and see this is uh, our annotation file so here the list of annotation and also you can see uh, the classes name over here so car and two wheeler so that's it you are done uh, with uh, the annotation so now uh, what if if you have uh, multiple objects in the video so let me show you another one yeah this one so this is uh, having two wheeler and as well as car in the frame so similarly i'm just choosing the two wheeler and uh, choosing uh, the car 
uh, from and the same thing I am uh, not using the shape I am just uh, considering the track because it will be easier to identify the frame by frame annotations. So here I am not annotating the every frame I am just uh, skipping 10 frames and every alternative trend frames uh, I am just uh, annotating it. So yeah that's it I am just adjusting the bounding box. Yeah complete now as the same way I am downloading the yellow file save image and uh, so if you see the files see these are the files and these are the classes and see here uh, zero is a car and one is two wheeler so that's it guys please do subscribe my channel and wait for more videos thank you